My name is Jonathan Coet, and I'm a 37-year-old filmmaker, originally from Houston, Texas, and I've lived in New York City for about um, 13 years. Um, I made. I made my first film, Tarnation, on iMovie for $217.32. And iMovie is a, a mom-and-pop consumer software that comes along with the computer. My film, Tarnation, is um, a film that I've inadvertently been making for about 11 years. Uh, it was on an array of uh, it was created on an array of different formats from VHS to Betamax. Um, <laughs> to Hi8, Super 8 film, um, digitized audio tapes, um, photographs, and it was um, uh, juxtaposed together to tell a story of me growing up as um, you know a gay male in Texas, um, <laughs> Jewish, <laughs> uh, growing up with a, a very sort of uh, tumultuous, unusual set of circumstances. Uh, that had to do with my mom, who uh, suffers from mental illness, and my grandparents, who had their own set of idiosyncrasies as well. And uh, uh, the film was, uh, yeah, probably made over the course of about uh, 20, 21 years, I think, it took to make it. And um, I put it, literally, the film went from my desktop on my iMac to a worldwide 35 millimeter uh, distribution deal um, in less than three months of having actually constructed it. And it took me about three and a half weeks to make the initial cut of the film on Apple's iMovie. You know, it's been about five years now and it's you know, it still kind of wakes me up in the middle of the night, not only because it was such personal content, um, and I'm, I'm often questioning, you know, what did I do? You know, that's a whole other can of worms. Um, but, uh, but just how you can go from your desktop computer to a 35 millimeter worldwide distribution deal is still baffling to me. It's absolutely baffling. And and the cool thing is, you know, people seem to be doing that more and more now. It, it seems to be the sort of common thread. You know, I've seen a lot of movies that have sort of done that at this point. And um, I don't want to say it's like passe at this point, but uh, it's happening a lot more and more. And it's very inspiring and overwhelming at the same time because, you know, um, Every, there's so many filmmakers now, <laughs> and I can only, and I empathize with the festival circuit now because they must get like a million trillion submissions every single uh, year now. I, I can't even imagine <clears throat> how what the sifting process is, um, you know. But everyone's a filmmaker, or some people are anyway. Hopefully, not everyone, but you know. It's it, they. There are a few problematic things going on now in terms of film filmmaking and with filmmakers, and I think it's really just the economy. <laughs> the economy is kind of fucking a lot of things up, and people are are afraid to um, to buy films now. I think more than ever. Um, but aside from that, um, I think so many people are making films that. You know, I'm afraid to say that some of the most talented filmmakers ever are going to be slipping through the cracks because they are among the, you know, the uber amounts of people that are making films on, on phones and on flip cameras. And, and um, there's, there's a lot of great talent that I think is going to be, um, you know, falling under the radar, unfortunately. Um, but that's, you know, it's the monster that we've created of enabling everybody to have a little camera. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. I, I, it's, hard, it's a mixed bag for me. But I also think people should take risks. And if they're feeling completely urgent about something, they should pick up that flip phone or that VHS camera or the Hi8 camera or the RET, you know, whatever they have, uh, you know, the newest HD camera and just fuck it, you know, just, just, just whip it out and film, you know, and see what you can do. I think as long 
<clears throat> I mean, for me personally, I think as long as a filmmaker has a good story to tell, that's going to be sort of the common denominator. Um, you can have, I suppose, any camera and any, you know, bit of uh, uh, equipment at your disposal, and you can have um, loads and years of education behind you too, like real academic education. But if if you don't have a good story to tell, I mean, it's not, it's probably not going to happen, you know? <laughs>